Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, again, uh, thank you for for the introduction. I don't think I deserve all what you said, but then uh, it, we're trying to do our best uh, in these uh, uh, circumstances that we are living in, be it from uh, an economical or health uh, perspective. Thank you for inviting me. I'm very much glad to be among uh, all of you. Uh, academic and researchers uh, without the inputs that we are get, uh, that we normally get from you and the guidance and the mentorship um, all what we're doing wouldn't be uh, possible so we are actually um, very much glad to the uh, education industry and uh, the, the R&D industry uh, in the way they are guiding us towards the uh, best practices towards uh, how we maneuver around the uh, circumstances like the one we are living right now. Uh, actually, the message here would be more towards a practical message uh, uh, coming from, from the grounds of, uh, of uh, market uh, stimulus and market dynamics uh, to our colleagues that are graduating um, from different institutes in the world. I think uh, what I've learned personally uh, is more towards how to, um, to structure uh, entrepreneurship and make it more practical, make it more feasible, make it more uh, happening. And we normally guide ourselves with uh, uh, three things. And those, those three things are basically the, the what, the how, and, and the where. So when it comes to what, uh, I think it's very much important for our young entrepreneurs to uh, focus more towards um, what exactly, what value are they going to bring to the market and what, what kind of uh, problems are they, uh, are they basically uh, solving. And that is very important in the business sector. Um, you know, th there are many a good, um, a nice um, uh, thoughts around uh, the globe. Uh, they are great technologies uh, pushed uh, to us in a, in a, you know, frequently in a, a daily manner. Uh, we get very much attached to those thoughts, um, but then we have to be careful not to get too in love with, uh, with those thoughts and with those uh, basically uh, nice to have technologies. And because some of them might be, uh, might not have the market sentiments or uh, ready uh, culture to embrace them and basically a lot of companies uh, fall uh, on, uh, on that trap and basically they fail to execute further. So it's very much important to understand what value are we bringing to the market and that's exactly uh, in 2012 when we thought about Oman Data Park and we thought that the market is actually in need of cloud services in this particular uh, area and um, um, the good thing is that legislatives were very much uh, uh, on track with us and demanding uh, a localized um, cloud-based uh, uh, infrastructures um, to, uh, as much as possible, you know, disallow any uh, uh, internationalization of uh, data movement uh, because of the, you know, confidentiality and data privacy. So that, that's, again, a problem that we managed to solve and that's what we, we, we managed to excel. So it's very important to actually understand what uh, problems are we solving. Uh, and, and the other side of the story is the, uh, is the how. And when it comes to how, we need to uh, very much uh, understand the business models. And uh, basically those business models has to be in fit with the circumstances that we live uh, in today. Um, I'll give you an example. A lot of companies that were existing uh, pre-pandemic pre have, uh, have not managed to actually, uh, you know, go through the circumstances and they, a lot of them have closed or shut down because of the rigid, rigidness of them uh, having to, uh, uh, you know, change courses and change uh, business models. It's very much important that uh, business models have to fit with uh, the market dynamics. Very important that the business models have to fit with the circumstances again. Uh, a lot of these uh, health matters, uh, pandemic had forced a lot of organizations to go online, have forced a lot of organization, uh, organizations to embrace e-commerce in order to sell 
their products uh, online. And uh, those who have managed to maneuver quickly and with a, with a great agility have managed to make it. Uh, others um, were very much slow towards having to electronize uh, a lot of their merchandise and, and uh, position it to the market in, a, in an electronic manner, online manner, have failed. So uh, that's just an example. Of course, the idea is here to fit the idea with the business model. And the third aspect uh, that, that uh, it's very important to, to keep in mind uh, for entrepreneurs is, is, the, is the how. And uh, that's basically to, you know, more towards the feasibility studies and more towards getting themselves in uh, geared up to, you know, when it comes to where are we going to get the money from? And is that thought with that business model going to create any, uh, any fund for the organization to be able to sustain? A lot of us uh, fall on the trap that uh, there are great, um, great thoughts, great technologies. Uh, you know, we, ha we might have also the, a good business model that, that fits with it, but the, but the market uh, might not be uh, ready for it. And every market dynamic is different from, from, from another, although we are living in a globalization world, but still there are cultural impacts, uh, there are uh, uh, you know, other uh, economical uh, kind of circumstances that might delay uh, the launch or the existence of a particular thought. Uh, a nice uh, example I always give, if a, if a same, inter, uh, same uh, let's say, uh, startup, um, if, if, if we do an exercise and the same startup happens to, to come up from the Silicon Valley, for instance, and the same thought come up from uh, the Indian continent, uh, from India, and, and again, we have uh, the same thought from Oman, uh, the, the, although, although it's the same thought with the same business model, but because they exist in different markets, uh, in different cultures, uh, they don't necessarily excel. It might excel in the Silicon Valley, but not in Oman for some reasons uh, to do with the market dynamics, to do with the market sentiments, to do with, again, uh, the cultural uh, readiness of that particular product and, and, and service. So again, a lot of our entrepreneurs get uh, very much in touch because they, 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 they listen to a lot of these um, uh, examples from across the world, and they think the same example can be actually imported from a different continent and it should work. It doesn't have to work. And I'm not saying it, it wouldn't, but there is a chance that it. Ma'am, are you able to hear Ma? Rasida Ma? No, ma'am, I think no. that's... Can somebody, uh, Dr. No. Prabhadevi, can you just inform? Um, yes, ma'am. Yeah. yeah. I'm doing, I'm doing. Yes, yes. The chief guest, sir, you have to unmute yourselves. Very sorry, for some reason... Yeah, uh, okay. Last okay, one okay. Minute, yeah. Yes, will... thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Why the technology itself? Yes, sir. So yes, sir. That is uh, something we have to leave it. Um, yes, sir. The last now minute, uh, just one minute, I just want to summarize what we're trying to say here uh, as a message to our entrepreneurs. It's a triangle, and those triangles have to fit. And those triangles start with number one is the, is the, uh, what we are going, what we're trying to solve as a problem. Number two, uh, do we have uh, the business model that fits? Uh, and, and uh, the feasibilities that can generate uh, income. And number three, are we in the right market? And that's very important. And uh, with that, I would uh, uh, thank you all uh, for inviting me personally. And uh, I, it's an honor again to be uh, among you. Thank you.